What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT and need to get 12 and 0 done, make sure to head up my second sponsor, Rose NBA, on Twitter for a quick, fast, and reliable purchase. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we do got some market talk, as per usual, man. Um, before we get into the video, if you guys could please smash that sub button, smash that like button. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, let's get 160 likes on the video for another MT giveaway. We're doing a 100,000 MT giveaway on Twitter. Make sure to go follow that. Also, buying and selling MT. So, if you have Xbox MT, PS4 MT, I'll buy it. And if you want MT, I'll sell it. So, let me know down below. Um, also, man, um, today we got some market talk. So, we're going to go over some cards that went up, some cards that went down, some cards that you guys invested in. I know you guys do like this. So, um, we got some market tips for you guys. So, Without further ado, man, let's get into it. So I'm just actually going to start off with this. I actually sold my Antetokounmpo point guard because, uh, yeah, he's really expensive still. And honestly, like, he's so expensive that you guys should probably sell him. I mean, he's the best point guard in the game. People are obviously going to disagree with that, but yeah, no, nah, he's the best point guard in the game. He's uncoverable. Um, he will dunk on anybody. He will shoot over everybody. He's a god. If you get his jump shot down, he's not going to miss. This card is, if you get him, if you have him, I would just say go ahead and sell him while you can because sooner or later they're going to drop super packs with him in it. We know what that means. When you see super packs with Giannis in it, you know what's going down. This card is going to drop a ton and then they're going to drop the opals. So once you see any flash pack, super pack, whatever, with this man on the cover, just know what's going down. That's all I'm going to say. Something's going to come sooner or later involved with Giannis. So hopefully... We could see a price drop from Giannis because I want him myself. And hopefully we see the Opal soon. So um, I'm actually selling some of these cards of mine. I have Luca and Bobo and Tracy. I'm putting it off on the auction because I think it's a good time to sell, in my opinion. Um, I kept Kareem. I kept Magic. But other than that, I think it's a pretty good time to sell. Because honestly, if you think about it, uh, markets crash every Friday. It usually slows down within the next day. The next day is always a good, way, good day to sell as well. So yeah, I decided to sell some players <clears throat> and end up copying Giannis. My plan is to run Giannis and Kareem because they're both bucks. I'm going to probably end up getting Shaq down the road. If you really want Shaq, it's definitely not a good time to buy him. He's at 900,000 MT. Just don't do that, bro. Don't do that. But anyways, let's get into pretty much everything. So honestly, I was noticing some people were asking me about Red and Wiggins. Are they good investments? I'm going to tell you this right now. They're, I don't think they are. They're not investments. They're good to snipe. Because since there's so many ping diamonds in the game now for the low, I'm just going to say this. Um, Their value isn't as good. Because, dude, as the promos keep getting released, they're going to continue to drop fire shooting guards, fire point guards, fire small forwards that are ping diamonds for the low. So do I think they're good investments? I mean, no. I think the only couple ping diamonds are like... Players that were out of packs already. So, like, I would say Manute Bowl. Manute Bowl is probably one of the main mans, I would say. Manute Bowl's up and down all day. He's one player I like to look to because, dude, he's actually really good. First off, like, this Manute Bowl is something to watch. I actually love this card because he goes up and down all day. Not only that, he's such a goaded card in general. But, like, one of my subs were saying that you could get him for 40K and then later that day he'll go for 50-something. Like, right now... He's rocking around 48. He'll probably go up to like 55. Like 43. That's mine. Got him back. So right there, I got him for 43K. I could probably sell him for 55 within the next day or two. Because this card's really good. Like this new bowl is seriously good. So if you learn his jump shot, he's a green. And I really recommend you sit on that filter. That's a good filter. Dino Raj is a good filter. There's just a lot of good cards that you guys can really pay attention to to make that MT. And honestly... To make a lot of MT, I've been repping with a couple filters. Honestly, honestly, straight up. The way to make MT now, since most of the like big filters are gone, is honestly paying attention to what's in packs and how hot cards are. I'm going to be straight up with you. If you want to make quick MT, it's probably 
easier to play TTO if you really want to make MT. TTO is a really good method, in my opinion. They actually did update boards pretty well. Not only that, you get a Rex Chapman Diamond in it, you get a Zion Diamond. There's really good cards on TTO right now. And honestly, some cards that I would recommend trying to snipe out is Grayson Allen, Kevin Huerter, um, obviously Mo Bamba, Ray Allen, Wiggins, Red. Um, those are cards I would recommend looking out for because those cards actually um, are key cards to look at. Do I invest in them? Probably not. Maybe the only one I would invest in is Bamba, but for the low. Because you don't really want to mess with Red investing because he's still really, really expensive and it's kind of dangerous. So with that being said... Right now, um, we got big content coming. Is Kobe coming into 2K? I don't know. I might have a video on that later. I'm seriously thinking about dropping a Kobe content video because honestly, I want to know if he's coming in the game. And honestly, I want to hear what my subs have to say about that. So right now, I would recommend selling your Opals. I would recommend selling your Pink, Dame, Pink Diamond, bro. Think about it. It's end game. We're missing a ton of Opals, bro. We're missing a ton of Opals. We're missing Paul George. We're missing Magic. We're missing Giannis. Not Magic. We're missing Paul George, Giannis. Joel Embiid, we're missing a ton of big names, um, Paul Pierce, uh, the list goes on, you know, so we're going to see Opals, we're going to see a token market update soon, we're probably going to see Kobe either tomorrow or today, so like, if you guys really want to just take my advice, sell your cars, today's probably a good day to do so, or whenever they drop content the next day, that's my tip for you guys, and also, there's just a lot to think about, like, Whatever you guys, if you have questions about something, as long as it's not stupid, I will answer them. Like, if it's like, should I sell Mo Mamas now or later, bro? I'm not going to tell you, bro. You got to figure that out on yourself. All I'm going to say is that if you pay attention to prices, it's good. And also, um, I've been noticing that Diamond Snipes, like right there, bro, 5,600. This car goes for 9 to 10K. The Diamond Snipes have been through the roof all bids. Like, you guys should hop up on this real quick. Because, oh my god, bro, i just sitting here. These are all, like, half of these are snipes. Like, all these diamond cards are going for the low. You could snipe them out real easy. Like, since there's so many, like, cards right now, there's so many cards within 20 seconds right now. So, that's just a perfect time to bid snipe. Like, George Mikan for 4K. Like, I'm going to see if I could get this for you. I think he goes for around 8. But, like, I'm going to bid 5K. The current, the next bid is, like, 4,500. So if I get this for 5k, I could probably dub out some for 10. This is probably one of the best methods right now. And honestly, it call, it's no effort. These cards sell quick. You just got to know your pricing. I know my pricing through the back of my head. I know everyone's price. I know everyone's like max minimum price. And diamond sniping last night was really good for me. It usually is better at the nighttime. But right now, let's see if we get this real quick. And we got them. So we just got Mike in for 5k, 100 MT. So, I mean, I'll take it 400 MT is something, but like, oh, that's annoying. I thought he was a little bit more, but most of the time, like yesterday, I got Jalen Browns for 3K on the bits night. I got Big Z. I got a Big Z for 8K and I sold him for 16K. That was a good one. That was all in a minute span. I mean, this, this could happen easily, bro. Like, honestly, all the so, bro, Spotlight Sim Filter is still goaded. I sold most of my cards last night. They're actually going for a good amount. Um, but I still have a ton of Cody Zellers to sell. If you guys listen to me on the Spotlight Sim Filter, you're going to make a lot of MT. If you listen to me carefully, if you didn't listen to me like exactly on how I said it, you're going to dub out. If you listen to me like wrong, you didn't really pay attention, you're not going to dub. You got to just really pay attention. But all I'm going to say is now is a really good time to sell these Spotlight Sims, bro. Everything is up. It's a really good time to do so. I will be selling every single one of my spotlight sims, getting my MT back and making a ton of MT. And also, Tony Snell is so cheap because of D-Book. So, all these cards are going to drop because D-Book's back in packs. So, yeah, that's really all I got for the video. Just some tips for you guys. Honestly, these tips are pretty fire. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. Thank you for 8K. Happy Easter. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace.